Hello, chicken. We meet again. Goodbye. And you have a friend. Bye-bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Soap the Great, and I am playing on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How's everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. I am doing much better, as you may have remembered. Oh, do I have my regular axe? I don't. Okay, so we'll just use this guy to get rid of these. Uh, as you may remember, we were having some issues in my household with some sickness, and that seems to have finally gone all the way through the family, and we should be done with it. And I am very thankful for that. So, yeah, things are looking a lot better and sounding a lot better around my household. But for now, let's see. What do you find me doing? Well, I'm chopping down some trees, not because I need the wood, but because I need the leaves. We are going to be starting a build today. I'm having some trouble with the lag here a little bit. No, no. What's that? Let's just get those. Um, we're going to be starting a build for the project that we actually began last episode. And what was that? Well, we did the prank on Zaid, and I'm still waiting for some retribution. We'll see what he comes up with. He's been rather busy lately, so so we shall see. It might be a while, so I, I really shouldn't let my guard down. But, no, that's not the project I'm talking about. I am talking about the fact that we took on the Ocean Monument, or rather two of them. We're going to be starting the Guardian Farm build today, and that entails, at least for the design that I have in mind, it entails some leaf blocks. Um, let's see, we got two of those. We'll just grab some more. I've been coming through here. I've got the Silk Touch Axe, and it pains me a little bit to have to chop down oak trees with a Silk Touch Axe, but there you have it. I've just been collecting these because we've got projects in mind for the future for those. Yeah, I do have the automated farm down in the industrial box, but uh, that doesn't get me quite the rates that I really would like. So that's, uh, that's, that's kind of a bummer. So let, let's just throw these out so we have some more. But I'm, I'm going to collect some more leaves, and then we'll reconvene over at the site of the future Guardian Farm. So I'll meet you back over there. All right. Welcome to the future site of the Guardian Farm. Yes, that's right, we are over here, and things might look a little different from when we were last here. If you'll notice that the rail track has been rerouted to go around the initial bounding box I was considering, and I've got a little little platform set up here. We're growing some nether, nether wart so we can do our potions, and got a bed here, not because we need to get rid of nasties, but uh, that's just in case we have other people on the server while we're working on this, and I can't... I can't easily get uh, get logged off or whatever. So I've got the bed there to be a service to others. And it helps reset my spawn here in case I happen to die while building this. So what are we going to do? Well, take a look in my inventory. See all those? All those leaves? And in here, in the ender chest, and you may note that I have an ender chest on my inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take some of these potions water breathing and then invisibility okay see that you can only see my my uh, what are those boots there and we'll just grab a couple more and then this way we don't have to come back up because the ender chest contains extra potions and leaves and we are going to be starting to lay down some of these leaves now let's just go down here and check real quick can you see me you know I'm here but you can't see me all right so the original idea was that I was going to build a, a little platform up in the sky uh, about 10 blocks above the farm or above the water level and that would have kept me out of range of these guys Ooh, a little bit of a block problem there some lag and um, 
the problem with that, or what, what I would have done after that, was to build a grid of lava dispensers. And then, alternatively, turn on the dispensers. And then the lava would turn all the water into smooth stone. Uh, I could mine out. If you notice, I've got the haste 2 going on. And that's because I've got a couple of beacons set on the ocean floor. And, you know, I was, I was walking... Uh, are taking care of a friend's dog last week and I was practicing you know, what, am, what am I gonna say what do I want to make sure that I convey in this episode and I was thinking about the farm design and the clearing out and all the process that this is going to be and you know I, I had the thought like you know I saw that lava thing on the SMB server and then I know that Joe the pirate is doing it on the Hypermind server, so I was thinking, you know, let's try something different, okay? Just, you know, not, not do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Getting some lag here, probably because of all of that. Yeah, see that? Wow. Yeah, I'm going to be very, very excited when all of this is no longer lagging. But, um, yeah, I wanted to try something different. Now, I, I didn't want to do the filling in the sand grid thing and the sponges. I do have plenty of sponges, but it's, you know, it's been done numerous times on camera. So we're going to try something else, okay? So what I'm doing right now is building a couple of walls. If you, there's one here, and I don't know if you can see it. We should have enough view distance. Over there you can see one, uh, a leaf tower going up. I'm doing the same thing. And in between each wall of leaves is 72 empty blocks. Well, they're not empty yet. What we need to do next is clear out that thing, that whole structure, and leave an empty area so that we can clear out the water easily with a machine. And that gives you a little bit of a hint of what I'm going to be doing. Now, what you see me doing right now is a little bit of block placement on camera. Why are we doing that? Well, I am looking at changing the format of the channel, uh, I don't know, for the near future or for a more permanent, I don't know, we'll see. We're going to use the next couple of months to test that out because we've got some exciting news happening in Soap's world. What is that news? Well, this is something that most everybody that knows me in real life should already know. And if you do know me in real life and this the following comes as a surprise to you, I am sorry. I tried getting to everybody. Block lag again. Tried getting to everybody, but uh, I may have forgotten. And, and it's really easy given that I've got a lot going on. It's really easy for me to forget things. So... What is going to be happening is that Soap's family is moving. Yep, that's right. We're going to be moving house. We're going to be moving to another city closer to my wife's parents. Because I've mentioned this before, that my wife has a sewing business. And, you know, things have gotten a lot busier for her recently. And we just need, need some help with the two youngins and being a little closer to her parents will make that a little bit easier and a little bit less stressful for them as well. They do like coming over and, and taking the kids, but uh, because of the distance right now, it means overnight trips, and that's that can be a bit hard sometimes with, with both of them because they are rather rambunctious. They're both young, so it, it take a, takes a lot of energy. So um, this will mean day trips and and you know over to Mimi and Pa's house so so yeah that's what uh, we're we're looking to do so it means that we've got to get our current house ready to sell and then we've got to get it listed and if it does happen to sell pretty quickly it means that we then need to look for a new house and it means that we've got to move and that means that all of that means that I'm going to be very busy over the next couple to three months okay so I want to still make sure that I do an episode a week mostly so that you guys don't think that I have died 
uh, but also because it, it's just good for the channel to have content pretty regularly and you know the weekly schedule has worked so far but it has meant that I need to do oh block lag well it's these guys man I'm gonna be very excited when those aren't constantly targeting squid in the water this place will get a lot less laggy so um, what I've usually done is a little bit of a recording session to start out the episode and then I do a lot of the project and then bring you in for jump cuts okay and then I can do that over the course of a week and sometimes it takes a week to produce a video um, full video and it takes a few hours to do the project and that has been uh, it's worked well okay place oh duh. I have run out of blocks so it's worked really well so far we've gotten a lot done here on the two crafty server and in my single player series but what I want to try to do is slow down a little bit on the progress and and maybe do more talky episodes and what this is going to do is going to be a little bit less um, less effort for the video production and that means I may be able to get a couple episodes recorded per week and so in case I do miss a week of recording it's not it's not going to keep me from putting out a video so that means that you'll continue to get the weekly videos so uh, that's one of the reasons why we're doing talky right now long term what does it mean well if over the course of the next two months I get better at doing talky and that's not why I wanted night vision first if I get better at doing the talky thing and then when I move it means that um, I should get better at producing more videos per week and so it there's a possibility that once we do get moved in and settled come on come on blocks place 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 thank you uh, it, it means that once we get settled then I could possibly be producing more than one video a week but uh, no promises okay uh, I can't guarantee that so don't hold your breath and don't don't expect that but I will keep you apprised of the whole moving situation for now this week that I am recording this video we're getting the house ready for painting and then once the painting is done we'll be getting it listed and these are more adult concerns so kids you may not be aware of all of this maybe you are maybe you have moved before maybe you've sold your house or your parents have sold your house maybe use that as a discussion what do you think have you have you moved before uh, have you seen your house go through the selling process your parents go through the selling process was it kind of stressful what all do you have to do to get ready so we've already done a decent amount we've updated our kitchen some we've got new appliances there we've got the cabinets refaced and then we're getting ready to paint and we're going to be doing some work on the outside as well for the landscaping and stuff just to increase the curb appeal a little bit hopefully get the house sold pretty quickly so we can make the move quickly and reduce the overall amount of time that we're kind of in this limbo so so yeah things are pretty exciting over in soaps world and i would like to hear from you have you have you sold your house when was the last time it happened have you moved was it kind of tough and uh yeah we'll go from there oh missed a block so what i'm going to do now that i have let you know what's going on i am going to finish up these two these two walls oh phone going off i'll get that in just a moment i'm going to finish these two walls and we'll come back and take a look at the finished progress and then end out the episode all right so i'll see you in just a moment welcome back ladies and gentlemen here we are and take a look we've got one wall right there and if you look over there we've got enough view distance that we can see that and that wall right there is completed so both sides are done and we've got 72 empty blocks in between well they're not empty right now they've got a bunch of water and we've got to work on that so next time what are we going to be doing well we need to clear out the area in between these these two walls so that means all blocks down to a common 
level. So I don't know what that is going to be. That looks like a pretty low level right there, so it might be down to that. And that may be the lowest. I think that's the lowest. Yep. Yep, so, well, let's see, there's a little bit more here. We can't go too low. Yeah, whatever the case may be. We'll figure that out next week. And the other thing is, that to get the haste to mining, the instant mining... I think I have to wear an Aqua Affinity Helmet, which means these guys are going to be able to target me. So I'm going to try that probably off camera. We'll see what happens, but I may get another beacon set up over that, over on that one. Maybe combine both of them and do um, absorption and regen, and then take out one half and then move all of them, or move both beacons over to this side. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure out. I hear a storm raging. Wow. So, yeah, we got a storm going. Maybe I'll stay underwater. So, anyway, what do you think about what we have talked about thus far on this episode? Do you like the idea of me doing shorter episodes and more talky and buildy? Do you like that that idea? Do you, um, do you not like it? I want to know. Also, do you have any questions you'd like me to answer while I am doing the buildy talky thing during the moving process? I'd love to hear that as well. And let's discuss something next time. So, if you could answer for me, have you moved recently or do you remember a move at all? What was your favorite part about it? What was your least favorite part about it? I'll share with you the moves that I have done or that at least that I remember. And I'll share with you the fun things and the not so fun things so join us next time as we dig out the ocean monument and some of the ground below and make a completely water filled area in the middle that we can work on emptying out and we'll see how we're going to do that so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye